Hi, welcome to Ask the Editor. I'm Corey Stamper, an associate editor here at Merriam-Webster. Someone asked me recently what words I'd been defining, and so I went ahead and gave him a list. And when I got to the word props, which is a word that means respect or great thanks, he exploded. He said, that's slang. Slang doesn't belong in the dictionary. Does slang belong in the dictionary? First, you should know that the job of every dictionary is to record the language as it's used. And slang is part of the language as it's used. There are a lot of words that we use today that had slang beginnings, and you don't think anything of them. Joystick started as slang. The Bronx cheer sense of raspberry, slang. The verb conk, as in I'm going to conk you over the head with this dictionary, slang. And slang has been used in some tremendously august publications. The Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, Charles Dickens used slang, Shakespeare used slang. One of our earliest citations for the word frankenfood, a word that some people thought was far too informal to be entered into the dictionary, was from a trade publication called Chemistry and Industry. It's not exactly Entertainment Weekly. We get some flack for entering informal words into the dictionary, but experience shows that this is one of the many ways that our language grows and thrives. And we're in pretty good company. In 1828, when Noah Webster issued his magnum opus, An American Dictionary of the English Language, he and his book were derided for including horrible, vulgar American slang. Slang like hickory, raccoon, and skunk. For more episodes of Ask the Editor, visit our website, merriamwebster.com.